Well, hello there guys, and welcome back to How to Feed the Beast. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing a theme with the forestry mod, and we are going to be making uh, two important machines, which is the carpenter and the thermionic fabricator. So, let's head over to the workshop and get about making them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is the carpenter. Now, the carpenter is quite an important... Um, machine for forestry because it is essentially almost like a crafting table very specific to a lot of the forestry machines so the materials we're going to need to build the carpenter are two glass blocks and what you actually need is uh, 14 bronze bars however if you don't have any bronze bars seven tin ingots and 21 copper ingots should make you the required amount. The easiest way to do this is to put them in the crafting table, tin ingots go in the middle and then put your copper ingots around the edge and there you have 14 bronze bars. So one tin, three copper give you two bronze so 14 bronze bars now the first thing you want to do is take eight of those bronze bars in the crafting table and arrange them in a square with a hollow in the middle as if you were making a chest and what you will get is a sturdy casing take that sturdy casing and put that back in the middle and then I'm going to, probably going to get this wrong. The two glass blocks on either side with the bronze ingots across the top and bottom. Yeah, I thought I was going to get it wrong. The glass must go top and bottom with the bronze ingots along the sides. Yeah, there's two ways of doing it. I'm bound to get it wrong. So there we have it. There is our first machine, our carpenter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my golden conductive pipes. And as I showed you in the last video, in the cellar, in the basement what I've got under the floor here is a golden conductive pipe that runs the entire length of the uh, engines down there I'll pop one down and then our carpenter can go on the top and I've put a little sign there ready for it because you get a lot of machines with these mods and a lot of them always look the same now the way the carpenter works which I'll demonstrate in the next video because we've got something we actually need to build in the carpenter is you put a recipe here on the left hand side you place the materials which you're going to build the item with here at the bottom the carpenter usually requires some sort of liquid in order to build more often than not water but occasionally it does use other things like seed oil and the item that you are building will show in this block here with a progress bar along the side and when the item is finished it will pop out in that space just there so that is our carpenter that is the first machine secondly we have our thermionic fabricator now that's a little bit more advanced because it will be more useful later on but it's easy enough to build and we are going to need it for the machine we're building in the next episode so I'm going to get that built now so what we need for this is we need a chest we need four gold ingots, three glass, and what we actually need is eight more bronze. So like I said, if you haven't got eight bronze, four tin and 12 copper, we'll do the same thing. So same as before, tin goes in the middle. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go, which will give us the eight bronze that we need. And the reason we need eight bronze is because we're doing the same thing that we did with the last one and we are building a, a hollow cube with them to make another sturdy casing. So the sturdy casing once again goes in the middle. The chest goes in the bottom slot. The glass goes in the left and the right and the top slots and the gold goes in the four corners. And there we go, we have our thermionic fabricator. So if we go back to the chest, I've got another conductive pipe in here. 
Same as I did last time because I've already got the sign for it on the wall. I'll just chip these slabs out. I will put in our conductive pipe and I will pop the thermionic fabricator here on the top. Now there is an interesting thing to note with the thermionic fabricator. What this machine basically does is again same as the carpenter you have a recipe that you place here in uh, this sort of crafting table area. The materials which you're going to use to build with go along here in the bottom slot. But what this actually does is it uses liquid glass. So you have to put something in here to melt down to be infused with whatever you're building. Now, there are a variety of things you can use. You can use glass blocks, glass panes, you can use diamonds, emeralds, obsidian blocks, um, various different ores. So if you go to anything that you need to use the thermionic fabricator to build so let's for example have a look at um, well let's look at the peat bog because that's what I'm actually going to build on the next episode so if we just quickly have a look at peat bog and the peat bog requires these copper electron tubes and copper electron tubes have to be built in the thermionic fabricator and here you can see they use copper ingots and redstone on the left hand side you can see uh, that um, uh, not enough items here, this mod is actually showing us what we can use. So you can melt down silver ingots, and of course there's various different silver ingots, gold ingots, blocks of gold, diamonds, there's blocks of diamonds, emeralds, so there's quite a lot of stuff you can use. Now another important thing to remember with the thermionic fabricator is you have this gauge here. Now this gauge is heat, and the machine requires a certain heat level to be able to melt the glass. Now, the problem you have, and if I just turn our power on here, there's the green light, which means the engines have started. If we actually look at the thermionic fabricator, you can see that this line is starting to build. Now, whenever you put a recipe in here, you will actually see a little yellow line, and that yellow line indicates the optimal temperature that the thermionic fabricator needs to get to um, to be able to uh, make whatever it is you've got in the recipe slot however even when you're not building anything like now the thermionic fabricator will continue to draw power from your engines or from your battery boxes so either don't connect your thermionic fabricator directly to your engines and have a way of disabling it or like I've done have a way to turn your engines off because otherwise this will just use all of your fuel and it will just constantly keep drawing power so there we go folks we now have the two sort of fu fundamental building blocks for the forestry mod our carpenter and our thermionic fabricator and then in the next video i will be building the uh, peat bog which will allow us to automate our production of peat and give us a limitless supply of fuel for our engines so once again, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas or suggestions for uh, specific items or machines you'd like to see me build and demonstrate, please send me a message or leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time.